I'm Colin, I'm 14. I'm Ryan and I'm 11. I'm Austin and I'm 10. The two youngest really wanted to do Nerf gun videos. We give them an allowance and they would be able to just to get one Nerf gun at a time like once a month. They were like, Mom, Dad, we really want, we need an arsenal of Nerf guns so we can do our videos. So my wife was like, uh, that's not going to happen. You need to earn your own money. So we thought they were going to, you know, sell cookies, cut grass, pick up trash in the neighborhood and things of that nature. We started researching the best thing we can sell that makes us money. We called one of our friends who makes candles and she helped us to get our fragrances from Candle Science. So we did. And it took us about, about a month to kind of get it right. To it. The candle burned right. It didn't, you know, it didn't tunnel. It didn't do all these, you know, it burned like a, a candle should burn. It was science. Yeah. It was chemistry experiments. Yeah. Because it matters with temperature, wick size, jar size, yeah. type of wax, like all that matters. And they can tell you now exactly why it matters. And that was the best thing about it, that they knew the science. They started selling them at their football and yes. baseball games. We got an opportunity to do the holiday market and they sold out. We were like, wow, this is a, um, this is a survival. This is, this is really taking off. A lot of times when you see, you know, children businesses, it's really the parents doing a lot of the work. We do help them, but they are the primary producers for all the products. We're actually their employees because mm -hmm. they're like, Mom, Dad, can you bag these up yeah, for they us, will. please? Bag this up, Mom. And they take my phone <laughs> and they're ringing people up. Even Austin, he's ringing, he's ringing mm -hmm. the customers up. So when they really see that the adults are not running the business, that's what draws people in. The very first spot on TV with Marquette was yeah. she visited their very first like pop up and she loved the product and she was like, I want you guys to come on my show. Company called Prayers Brand Show. Colin, Ryan, Austin, and their mom, Selena Gill, welcome to Great Day Watch. And then they did Good Morning America in July, and that was bonkers. That was crazy. The three incredible young brothers turned entrepreneurs. Yeah, and then it so, was like ping, because yeah. you, hear, you hear people ordering yeah, on so, your phone. We were like ping. <laughs> like what? Ping. What happened? So it took a couple of months, literally, yeah. to get all the orders from that one day out. Then CBS Evening News, and then like uh, People, Magazine. People Magazine, like everything kept hitting. Once they realized they were gonna have a real company, Ryan asked, well, can we give a portion back? And there's so many people that we see mm -hmm. homeless in DC. They're always asking about them, like, why are they here? Mm -hmm. Why are the, why, where are they, where's their family? And my wife is very articulate about what, you know, what might have happened or what's going on and things of that nature. And just being able to understand that, I think, touched his heart. They call their company Frère Branchot, Gill Brothers in French. And they've decided not to keep all the earnings for themselves. They now donate an average of $500 a month to area homeless shelters. Why is that something you want to do? Because it's the um, community gives us, we want to give back. I just, I think that we didn't expect so many people to be inspired by them. We knew that they would appreciate the story and then be proud of them because they're three young brothers, you know, with the business. But it's amazing, like the emails we get that say that, you know, I'm 64 and I had given up my, um, my passion, but I watched the story on your boys and now I started again. We didn't expect that to happen, that people will see them and like, if they can do it, then I can do it. They really have a bigger vision. I think people see that and they're drawn to that. My vision is we have lots of stores around the world. Um, my vision is kind of like Ryan. Um, it should be the best can of brand there is out there. My vision is to be become a trillionaire. How many years? Two. <laughs> The goal is to keep them striving for a goal. And this is the foundation for anything they want to do. We want them to live a life that's full, live a life that gets back, live a life of fearlessness, to live a life where they can look back, you know, and be proud of how they live their life. Mm -hmm.